Hi, my name is Ronald and I'm the author of uh, BB Vapor Modules. And the reason it's called BB Vapor Modules is because they vape while I build the, the module. So I'm going to show you how to create a uh, categories module grid, something like this flow, but we'll do it from scratch. So first we'll go to modules, vapor, and then you'll see category grid. And it's still buggy, so it's in beta. And you'll see some weird options. There's an undefined thing that I'm getting. But I want to order by, say, product categories. OK. And then I can order by term name or term slug, A through D. I can even choose a number of terms to retrieve. So let's go ahead and do that. And you'll see that I have approximately, a, uh, let's see here, let's see 9, 10, so let's do 12, let's see if we can have an even grid, nope, let's go back to 9, and there we have an even grid of our product categories, and let's go ahead and save that and view it, and then you can check it out in responsive mode. Works pretty well. So that's without changing the uh, category text of thin. So you can do that by let's go here. Uh, say you wanted uh, more than three columns, you would change this category with something smaller. So let's do it um, 230. And so we, now we have uh, four columns. And let's go ahead and change the height to something maybe 275. All right, now that looks great in four columns. So um, by default, it has a fallback image of this very nice unsplash image. So you can choose between ACF, if you have ACF installed, um, category meta, or a gallery of images. And today I'm just going to show you a gallery of images. Um, they'll be chosen basically randomly. And so let's pick up all these unsplashed pictures I have. And then the loop around if uh, another one isn't found. So let's go ahead and add all those to the gallery. Update gallery. So now our background should change just like that. Oh, and it looks like since we changed to 12 columns or uh, four columns, we can add maybe one less image to make it just a perfect column at full height. So let's go back to eight here. Perfect. So let's go ahead and go to options. We got 10 gallery images selection and there's just eight here, so it's perfect. Uh, once again, you could choose by ACF if you have an ACF uh, category field. Uh, otherwise, category made will work. Um, you're getting a warning there. It tells you there's still bugs in this. But gallery of images works perfect if you uh, don't want to go digging around for product category images uh, by yourself. So then let's go to box options. Link entire container category. This is recommended. Uh, category color. We could change the color of the text to whatever you want. Give it an alpha value. See it updating. But I'm going to bring it back to white. And then we'll keep it white on uh, hover here too. I'm just going to change the font family to something I've used on my site. Um, looks like I haven't used anything fancy. So let's just do Georgia in a bold format. Give it, say, a 32 pixel high height. And let's uppercase it and give it some letter spacing. And then finally, we select the uh, the padding here. You see the padding's pull off. So let's give it a right padding, a 10, and a left padding of 10. 
So there, it should work a little bit better. Since that font size doesn't work well for accessories, let's go ahead and say uh, 30 and let's see how that does. See a little bit of triangle in there right here. Thank God for like 3 ds though. Love it. Okay, we need to go just a little bit smaller. There we go. And then you could do responsive on that side too as well. Um, say we want to go down and see what it looks like responsive. And it looks like our font size is shaping up pretty well. So let's go ahead and save that. Click done. And that's what it looks like currently on mobile. So let's go back to Beaver Builder. I think we're done with box options unless you want to add a border. And I'll show you how real quick and then disable it after I show you a little bit of options here. So say you want a black border. And then we want it all around. So let's do four pixels high all around each box. All right, and then the default, we want solid. So there we got solid border. And let's give it a bit radius of five pixels. And then let's give it a box shadow of, eh, I'm gonna get a dark box shadow. Let's do, Zero, zero, five, and then five. I'm just picking random numbers until you can see something on the screen. So there you go. You can change that box chatter to uh, something a little less intense. And then maybe change the border color if we can do alpha. Yeah, it looks like we can. Let's reduce some of that spread. Okay, now it looks like we have a real shadow here. Let's uh, lower the opacity again and see how that works. Uh, let's up it a little bit. Doesn't look like we have a shadow anymore. And just a There we go. So that's how it might look on the front now. Of course the font went screwy again because we added that extra, spot, extra border. So if we want to do that, we'll just go back to our typography and do 22. That should be sufficient for accessories. Stay on one line. There we go. So uh, the overlay, you see that there's an overlay here for the image. Um, basically when you, it's designed to showcase the image when you hover over it so the overlay is controlled that way so you can see the image just a little bit better so make sure this category the typography kind of matches the overlay that you choose on hover and then you can add a button if you want as well I believe that's in box options show button yes And you see kind of a default button there with some styles. And we can change everything about this button. Uh, we can make it a uh, nice orange. And then make it a little bit oranger on hover. Uh, text color on both, I imagine, will be white. And let's not have a border at all. All right, so this white is a little bit hard to see, and then we got some button padding we can mess with. Um, I just like the 1020 rule when it comes to buttons. 
so that's about what I have already. Uh, let's make this uppercase. So click the uppercase button. And let's give it a little bit of letter spacing. I like the font family that it has. Oops, I messed with the font size and not the space. Here, that looks like more of a real button. And then we can add the text shadow if we like, but we're just gonna leave it alone. Um, I'm thinking about it, and maybe we should go to the order. I don't know if black's the right color for it though. Maybe I can use one of these uh, third formulas. Let it change. Let me try it again. Copy and paste here happens to me all the time. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. And then on the border color hover on hover, we'll just change it to zero. And the padding looks great. And then I should be able to click save and done. And then I should have a little category grid box. Sorry this video was so long, but thank you for watching.